cheese. That is absolute chef's kiss. That is lovely. A 993, because why not? This thing is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thing. What you got in the window there? Oh, you got one of your um, content. <laughs> you got your content there, boys. That's a lovely E30 with some naughty, naughty paperwork, some naughty literature. If they can do this, then you're extremely brave and I absolutely salute you. That is epic. I love that. Let's have a look at those little. <laughs> spoiler bit, you've got those spoil ducktail spoiler. That is probably a highlight. There we go, we've got some really cool, really, really cool bits and pieces around. This looks really nice. I like this. Yep, that's really cool. But I, I was going to come over here anyway because this Porsche 356 is just insane. Like, how? How? How do you do this? <laughs> how do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Yes, this Porsche is insane. What the hell? And uh, yeah, of course, you just take take your frog face off. Of course, of course, of course. Take the frog face off, put it on the ground. I bet this thing really shifts, though, I guarantee. For a hill climb, this thing is probably mega. But you've taken your face off, mate. It's like that film from John Travolta and <laughs> Nicolas Cage, that's it. Face off, there we go. That, that patina look on this Porsche. Jesus. See, when you think pristine, you think Porsche, you think luxurious, you think sport, you, you think sport, or something like that. You think of, I think you think of a lot, and then you see this, and the person just went, I'm going to go for that patina. And I can honestly say, it's not something I've seen a lot of on a Porsche, but I'm, I'm really liking it. I think it really suits this one. A bit more of that 356 and a bit more of that patina. That is insane. I like that. Wait, has it got a Corona? Yeah, it's got a Corona bottle in there. Yeah, Corona bottle. Of course, of course. You know, of course you have that. And you've got this Beetle here, which has some insane interior. That is just that is just something else. Got another bug here while I also turn around and look at that crazy bug again. That looks insane on its stance. On its stunts. Wow. Insane. But that one there is also really nice. I like that. The owner of this one just decided to park up, let his exhaust have a little rest. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. His exhaust is literally just taking a rest on the grass. Because why not? You've got the engine on show. That stance. <laughs> Jesus. Again, we've got a patina look on this. And that is really cool. I have a feeling that this... <laughs> I don't want to guess, I don't want to guess, so I'm going to have a look what we've got here. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that, but that patina look on it really sets it off. I like that. Ooh, is this what I think it is? Yes. I think this is owned by a tattoo artist I follow on Instagram called Misha. This thing is nuts. Look at all of her hand, hand, her hand um, engraving. That is insane. Oh, she's got an engraving on the actual headlights. That is just the attention to detail with this thing. It's something else. You got oh my god, it's all around here. You got more on the actual on the actual wheels. You've got it on the pillar, for goodness sake. All over the pillar. Yeah, Misha does an insane job. 
Yeah. And this thing is absolutely insane. You've got, oh my god, you've got the central exhaust. Bloody hell. Like, th this is just how you do it. Nice BMW there, isn't it? Yeah. That is just how you do it. And I think that's amazing. I love that. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It's got those curb feelers as well on the side. Love that. There we've got the A86. Of course you do, and it's in red. That thing is looking beautiful. Love it in red. Yeah. That's insane. I love it. That is just a little bit of dreams right there. The yellow. The yellow on the red, on the black, and you've got a, you've got a plaster on it. Oh, has he done a boo-boo? Has it hurt himself? Oh no. Oh no, I hope you get well soon. Wait, it's got an en It's got a Honda engine. It's got the VTEC engine in here. <laughs> Jesus. What a build. That's really cool. That's really cool. Here we go. I'm going to make myself look like a right nerd. We've got my A86 and we got that one there. Mine is that is the most cringy thing I've done in my life, and that is saying something, so I'm going to vacate before I actually throw up on my own cringiness. We've got a few more things, but this Porsche really captured my imagination, because that is bloody huge. Wide body, Cayman. Carbon, okay, it's all, is that all carbon as well? All real carbon? Jesus. Why? <laughs> Why? Look at that dish as well. That's more dish than a Wilco plate section. That is nuts. I like the yellow details on that as well. That's insane. Cool. We're coming up to some RWB goodness in a second. We've got this mini. That looks really nice. Oh. Look at you, look at you. Austin, that looks really cool, I like that. Oh wow, 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 what have we got here? An RSQ3, is it? That thing looks really cool on, on some big wheels, some stance. The colour is really nice, I like that. Oh my god, that looks like an actual beast. That's an actual beast right there, that is nuts. Here we go, let's have a look at this Mini, who's got its ITBs on show, but instead of letting them flow, you've got tennis balls. So, <laughs> fair enough, if that's, that's an interesting choice, but look at that, you could have put some eggs in there, so it'd be like eggs and shit soldiers. Let's have a look at that interior. Oh my gosh, we've got some really interesting interior on that, that's really cool. We've got ducktail on it, oh my god. I'm, I'm liking this thing more every time I see it. What we got here, that's really nice. But I'm going to look at these RWBs in person because this is insane. I've never seen one in person, of course I haven't. But freaking hell. Insane creations. That's absolutely insane. We've got the Cabriolet as well. These kits are something else. You've got the insane wing. Oh, don't worry, I'll come around to it. But that rear is huge. Is absolutely huge. Look at that as well. Got this right here, which looks absolutely insane. RWB just does it well, doesn't Just does it completely well, does it like no one else. That is gorgeous. The colour of that is gorgeous. The colour of that is gorgeous as well. Got some insane, insane, insane stuff. Sorry, I was trying to get myself positioned again. Wanted to get a little bit more time with these RWDs because these are bloody nuts. Wow. That wing on that is insane. Incredible work here. We've got an Audi TTRS on show up here. Thought I'd make a little detour over here because I saw something from afar. Got this lovely E30. 
but it's this this insane insane Toyota Mark II which is owned by someone I used to go to college with all those years back so we did our first year together his name is Mikey and he's killed it he's absolutely killed it with this I know he hasn't got the wheels that he wanted to put on there this time but he has really brought those lows down something fierce he's got some interesting choice of stickers and he's got that netted he's got that netted interior which is cool that e30 looks nice that prelude is something nice as well i love that got the pop-up headlights because that is a real treat right there but that prelude gorgeous gorgeous i think i need to get a picture of it another a86 on show right here that looks lovely gorgeous thing there we go we've got a mark one golf which looks really nice as well you've got the aero wheels that's lovely <laughs> got a few things in the trees because why not we've got an r32 is that yes r32 between the trees gtr of course it is that looks really mega i like that oh we got the chaser but this one here it's got some chameleon pearl type wheels which is insane that livery oh my god oh my god that is just a bit mad actually that is a bit mad and i think the owner really killed it with this i love the color i love the livery i love the wheel choice i bet that is great fun that is really nice I'm becoming a little bit aware that I'm running out of time and I haven't even gone to the main paddock so I'm going to do a quick blast through. So we've got this lovely 206, that looks really nice with those wheels. Really cool, two door, lovely. We've got this Escort which looks insane. That, those, that turbo is a bit mad. I don't think I've ever That run is right. some great fun, but I guarantee you it is brown trousers after that. Brown pants, brown trousers, I bet that's scary. That is lovely. I like the color, I like the wheel choice, that's really nice. Got the Beamer here, looking clean. We've got a, of course we've got a, stanced dropped coyote v8 mustang in purple that thing is lovely that is gorgeous i like that got that beamer as well that i like the color of that that's really nice got some really cool gear up here got the rx7 we've got oh my god that's really cool i like that i haven't seen many of these modified at all but yes look at that an Accord Aero Deck. That's really cool. Don't see many of these um, around anymore. So that's really cool. Yep, yeah, we've got the RX-7, of course we do. We've got the S14. We've got, oh, we've got the IKEA spec Golf, which looks really nice, actually. Yep, yeah, it's almost an IKEA spec, which, hey, if that's what you're going for, that's really nice and I like it. I like it. Ooh, there's some good bits. We go from a clean 2002 to this. Because why not? Why not? What the hell? The but. Oh, hello, Ferrari. I didn't even see you there. That 2002 is race ready, and I bet it goes like stink. That thing is pure race car cross you've got all of the engine on show that thing is a bit mad actually it's a bit mad I love that very clean very clean very clean Merc here that's really nice got some really nice bits and pieces around here got some lovely Mercs up here that mini is really cool it's got <laughs> it's got blue tint that is really nice I like that blue tint Blue Miritans to be exact. B-roll. Amazing. Amazing stuff. It's got those turbo fans as well. Hello. I like that Merc. Very brown, very brown Porsche. That's really nice. I like the BBS choice. That's really cool. 
Got some good bits and pieces up and around. Got your Sheikha mat on show as well. Yeah, lovely chase of that. Ooh, nice Lexus, nice Lexus. That Mini is a bit mad, actually. The colour, the stance, the kit. That's just really cool. Got a golf on show on some lovely... That's all right. <laughs> Got some good bits and pieces up and about. Let's have a look at this GT86. That's a good colour, good wheel choice. Some good modifications. Got the S3 here, that looks really nice. Some good wheels on that, that's really cool. Right, I'm running out of time. A VW Derby, I have not heard of this one. Not heard of this one, but that looks really cool. It's not a Jetta, there we go. To everyone, it is not a Jetta, it is a Derby. We've got this VW with its, it's got its windscreen open, of course it's got its windscreen open. Of course you would do that. That looks really cool though. Got the RX-7, which looks lovely on that stance. Look at that, lovely stance, boy. Got a few bits and pieces. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to go up and see this actually. Sorry. That Sentry is lovely. That Sentry is really cool. It's got the, oh my God. Wow, 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 wow. I'm in love with that. V12, insane. Amazing, amazing Sentry. But the main reason I came up was this. This DC2 is gorgeous. Got the, again, left the bonnet at home because who needs a bonnet nowadays anyway, actually? Lovely DC2. Have a bit of a soft spot for these. So I had to come up and have a little look. Clean DC2. Yep, I'll give you that. Amazing. Here we go. So we got this Mark II GTI. That looks really cool with that wing. That looks very nice. BBS, very, very period correct, which is lovely. Some good lows on that, some great stance. That is really cool. That S14 is really nice as well. That's really nice. Got some really cool bits and pieces. That Datsun, good color, good color on that. Some good choice of wheels, very subtle, very nice. An M3 is that? Yeah, I think that's a real M3. Yeah, it's a real M3, you can tell from the wrong side of the road. Oh, we got another M3 approaching. Amazing. Beautiful colour on that. Let's have a little look at this R32. That thing is really nice. Then we got another one beside it. That is really cool, I like the red. Yeah, we've got another here. That's really cool. Got the RX-7 here on the on the free road, on the, on the free spokes, which is really nice. Oh, sorry, Courtney. I'm just gonna get a few more seconds of this because it's beautiful. Look at that, SJ. Oh, he's winking, winking at me. Look at that. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that's all right. Yeah, so this looks really nice. I think it's a bluebird. Could be completely wrong. Let's have a little look. That thing is really cool. I like that. Yeah, I'd like any small wheels. I'm a yeah. small wheel. There we go. We got a Kanjo styled Civic, which looks really nice, actually. I like the livery they've gone for. That is really nice. Yeah, look at that. Nice 300 ZX, that's really cool. Oh, sorry. We've got lovely Z3 there, that's a really good colour. Nice S14. Got another Corrado, which is beautiful. Love a Corrado, me. RX7. Oh, I was hoping to see this one day. I follow this account. It's a chap who modified his Panda and who, who in who modified the panda this guy does and i love it i think again another highlight that thing is amazing i love i love strange cars so the panda to me is like up there is one of those really cool cars when you see them in person got the alpha wheels 
it's been stripped out and it's got some nice little touches on it. I've, I've forgotten the name of the person who owns this, but I follow you on Instagram and love your account. This thing, amazing. An amazing Benetton here with the camel livery. That is a bit special. I think it's a Benetton. Yep, yeah, it is. And it's got Schumacher on it. Schumacher! Mr. Schumacher! Yeah, that rear is insane. I love that. Incredible. That's incredible. Of course it won't be any video without saying a quick hello to my good friend Courtney and her beautiful, beautiful Glanzer. She's recently just done some more things to it, so I will get into that. But Courtney, again, has killed it with another build of hers. Oh, dogs. Loads of dogs. This said free. Now it's a bit nuts. The colour. I don't even know what we're going for. It's like how you would imagine Sprite would look. It's that lemon and lime together. But that colour is mental. I love what they've done with that. 